Hi, my name's Nigel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take your Photoshop layout and turn it into some HTML code, which will then let you uh, link pages and turn it into a fully functioning website. So I've got a layout here in front of me. I made it earlier. Um, it didn't take very long. It's just for the purpose of this tutorial, really. Um, but the first thing we have to do is place rulers over the top. It's quite a useful tool. Um, lets you separate and measure distances between things. If you've never used rulers before, you can go to the top, click on view and click on rulers. To place a ruler, you hold down and drag it across. It's as simple as that. This doesn't actually become part of your document, it just uh, sits on top and lets you just position things like slices and it's just a useful tool really. Um, so I'm now just dragging them into place and I'm sectioning off my document. So I've got a ruler at the bottom and I'm going to section off my different links here oh. so I'm going to section these off so I've got all my rulers here now to turn your document into HTML code you need to slice it up to make it functioning what this means is you make a part of this document a, a little image so for example I'll make home into an individual image which will then link it to another page so to do this I will use the slice tool so you hold that down, go on slice tool and you just drag over the top where you want the slice to be so I've got my content there I've got my banner oh sorry I've got my content, I've got my banner up the top here I've got this blank space here and then I've got my links which I can slice up slicing is particularly useful for links because it lets you take this layout which is a fixed layout slice it up and link it off to different locations. So now I've sliced up my document. I uh, don't really need that slice there. And don't really need that one there either. We just want one big one up the top. So now I've sliced off my document and I'm playing again. I can now save for web. This will turn your document into code and let you link off to pages, um, write HTML over the top, CSS, all sorts of things. Just basically turn it into a functioning website. So I'm going to go to save for web and devices and here it will show you your different slices. Um, there's lots of options at the side. The only one you should really concern yourself with is the format. Um, I just save it in GIF. It's just small, quick and easy. But if I'm working on a particularly nice layout and lots of images, then I will save it in a JPEG. So now all you need to do is go on save make sure it's set to HTML and images because that will make the HTML code and save the images uh, we'll call it something like index so I'll save that there and that's saved onto my desktop so if I go into slice test you can now see that I've got a web page and a folder full of images so if I click on the web page it will now open it up and you can use your text editor like notepad or textpad to link these images off to different pages. Um, I will be covering this in another tutorial so thank you very much for watching and I hope you've understood how to slice up your document.